Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll see how to make cool impressive animations using PowerPoint. If you are a person working in your sales and marketing team and you want to impress your clients or you want to make cool presentations to your C-level management, then this video is definitely for you. Without further delay, let's get started. So say for example, this video, I'm going to show an example of uh, how I'm going to make a presentation for a watch. So this is going to be a uh, Rather than making up simple animations, I'm going to make up cool transitions using Morph. So that's one of the cool feature which is available in uh, PowerPoint. We'll see how to make simple Morph animations using PowerPoint. So first what I do is I open up my stage. I'm trying to make up um, a small rectangle or a shape of your choice. You can try with various uh, shapes. I'm trying to make up uh, a rounded rectangle. I adjust my size. I'm replacing the colors. And this is up to your discretion. You can choose whichever shape you want depending on your uh, requirement. As I'm going to do with watches, I'm just trying to make them with really funky fonts here. So you would have your own branding of your business. So just try experimenting with them. And I'm just trying to replace the contents with my actual contents. I've got some dummy content here. So I just replace it with my actual contents. So always try to uh, make sure that uh, you are uh, um, the fonts or the things whatever you are going to use on your presentations are really neat and easy on your eyes and after that what I am doing is I am trying to import some uh, watch images to my screen so I got uh, some images downloaded from online so try keeping them as uh, transparent images even if you don't have transparent image what you could do is try importing the image and uh, click on the option as uh, remove background the one on the top left and it will show you which section of this image you wanted to remove. It will show up as an orange or as a pink highlight. Just click on OK. It will automatically show up, make the image as a transparent PNG. So uh, I'm trying to make up uh, import different watches and I'm removing the backgrounds of all of them. Aligning them all into uh, the stage. Just keep them at random positions. So uh, before you make your transition or your uh, animation, just try to keep everything ready on the first screen. Now I'm just trying to import all the images, making them all as transparent PNG. So this you can experiment with uh, multiple items. This is an example I'm doing as a watch. You can try it with your, your own actual products. So now that I've got my uh, stage filled with all the watch images I have, I'll try uh, duplicating this stage now. Just align them into different positions and uh, just duplicate the same stage. And there I delete all my items and just keep my first watch which I'm going to feature. So you try adjusting their size and position. Try rotating their colors as well and um, duplicate the first screen. And in the second screen what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the uh, watch into a different position. So how it looks when you uh, finally uh, show us an output is it, you will see an effect like this watch is like fading down or it is like resizing itself. On the second screen, I'm going to show up another watch which I'm going to feature for the second slide. So duplicate the same slide. On the third slide, again, I'm going to uh, uh, move this to a different location and I'll replicate with another watch which I want to feature on the fourth slide. So keep continuing doing this process. You can uh, try adjusting the position of the background as well so as to make it look uh, really funky. It will look as if like these uh, backgrounds are also transitioning or changing its position or uh, changing its location depending on it. So if you try with the circle and if you try to rotate it, you will feel like really cool and really funky when you make the transition. So I'm trying to move all the watches into uh, different sections or into different places on my uh, slide. You can try varying their locations or try varying their sizes as well. So once I have uh, my entire uh, screen filled up with these watches, what I do is I uh, Select all my slides, so I will make sure that all of them are uh, not visible on the screen. Try to move them outside this white area and just try replacing them um, by with uh, changing the backgrounds as well into their positions. So try keeping your product outside the uh, shape so that it looks like a 3D effect onto it. Now having done that, what I do is I select all of my uh, slides. So after doing it, I select all of my slides and I take the option as transition, click on the option as morph. So there you go. So once you do that, you will be able to see all of your slides showing up one after the other. This is the transition which I was talking about. So when you click on the slide one after the other, you will be able to see your product actually sliding off into different positions and you see your product featured up in a nice better way. So this will be an easier way for you to market your products or if you want to feature a presentation to your team, this will be a cool funky way for you to do it. 
So if you really like this mock transition, do try experimenting then with your uh, next PowerPoint presentation. And if you want me to post such contents, uh, do subscribe to the channel and do smack that like button so that uh, a lot of people can get notified about videos like this. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.